Welcome to Condas. Tiny plane time. If you're in Condas. It's almost time to go. Did you notice I've been alive? Saying no to the break the dying hoping that you'll show a little warm, but you know I feel the coldest when I'm wrapped around your finger. Did you notice that you put me through the ring when you said that you need? So we just arrived at Tansonia Airport. Just got our tickets and everything. We just put on our gloves, masks and goggles. So we're all ready to go. <laughs> gloves, masks, goggles, goggles. <laughs> Although they immediately broke. Not the quality. best quality. And everyone's wearing masks, so feeling safe. You doing the washing up, Em? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go cut some heavy metals. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. We're flying on a tiny 80 seat propeller plane from Tansonia Airport to Kondao Island. Oh yeah, tiny plane time. <laughs> time to go. Since you left me broken when you said that you need to solid. It's a very, very cozy little airplane. Not much, not much yeah. headroom for me. A rocky landing. Don't lick your fingers. Why? I haven't So we just got showed to this lovely, beautiful, spacious room. Looks really nice. We just settled in, unpacked, but then apparently this is the large room, and we only paid for this small room. So they're going to take us to our smaller room now, pack everything back up, and. Let's go check out that room instead. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too, too small. <laughs> Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing. So after arriving in Kondao this afternoon, the number one thing that we had to do is come and get some food. So we found this really nice cafe restaurant, it's called Infinity Cafe. Mm -hmm. What did we have? I had some summer rolls, which you make yourself. That's like with tofu, like fresh vegetables, and some salad, and a little peanut sauce, which is like so, we definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. And Lewis. Very yeah. nice. I had the chicken sandwich with bacon, egg, cheese, and really beautiful crispy chips. Really good. Check out the chips. <laughs> it's manual focus. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> you said it reminds you of, you know, Bali, Bali style cafes, which is really cool to find here on the island. That's beautiful. Yeah, for sure, like the vibe is so chilled and like really summery holiday, like vibes and yeah, so really nice. Yeah, very nice. We've got a really cool aesthetic here. It's like Instagrammer's dream. You see people snapping <laughs> loads of pictures and I think we'll, we'll try and do that as well too because it's, it's 
a good place for the gram. Yeah. And good value too. They're yeah. about 300 or so for the food. Yeah, really which good. Which is good value for where we are. Yeah, and we always seem to get this combo, sandwich and uh, spring rolls. So <laughs> if, if you're a subscriber, you would know that already. If you follow this channel, sandwich and spring rolls. Yeah. That's the, and watermelon and coffee, sometimes watermelon and Sprite. Yeah. Uh, that's the, <laughs> Iconic that's the channel combo, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I reckon we're going to go check out the local beach. Yeah, we're going to go see the beach now. So, see you there. Cool, number two, here we go. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with a house key. Something I'm proud of. The world you come with me and with me out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down with your head in mine. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. We are here at the public beach, Lei Loi, just five minute walk from the main town. Yeah, it's super nice, it's really quiet. The beach is really clean, there's hardly anyone here, but some guy came up to us and told us to put on our masks. So I guess we're in a public <laughs> place, but it seems a bit strange to go swimming in the sea with your mask on. <laughs> we're in a public space, so yeah, yeah, we did it. So it's got a bit darker now, a bit more clouds, but it was a really beautiful beach. Quite windy, so it's quite sandy. It's still really beautiful and really nice and chilled. Yeah, really cool. We just came back to our hotel, Villa Maison, just to have a little rest, take a shower, get clean again. And uh, we got a bit hungry now. We're about to head off to a seafood restaurant, have some delicious fresh sea seafood. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure like on Kondao Island, there's going to be loads of like really tasty seafood and fish and everything. So if you want to get fish, here's the place to get it, isn't it? Yeah, it should so, be really good. So yeah. let's go see what they've got. Yeah, let's check it out. Is the food yummy? Very yummy. Very good. We've got some fresh fish from the island, Konson fish, some fried muck, which is squid, and I a nice fresh steamed crab. Should be yummy, let's try it. So we just had our seafood dinner. We came to Kon Son Quan restaurant, just five minutes from our hotel. I thought it was good. The food was nice, what do you think? Yeah, it was definitely tasty. We liked the squid, there was like loads of it, as you saw. Um, and yeah, and it was like crab, so that was good. So I had some nice crab for the first time in a long time. Maybe my first time in Vietnam, actually. It was pretty good. Just one fresh steamed crab, it cost me about 200k. We had some different sauces. This one here is a mixture of salt, pepper, and uh, kumquat, like a bit of lime. Good. That's a pressure. So we got all of that plus two drinks and it just cost 600k, uh, which is not too bad. Here we had a bit of trouble trying to communicate with the staff because uh, they sell it by the kilo and I just wanted one crab. I uh, don't know how much it weighs, but we met a nice friendly Vietnamese guy. He helped me to translate, so that was good. So yeah. overall, nice dinner. I think we're going to wander back to the hotel now, right? Yeah, sounds mm -hmm. good. All right, let's go. through a little flower festival. They've got an art exhibit over there and even a little library. Oh, it's quite cute. <sighs> Good night. <laughs> Welcome to day number two. Good morning. <laughs> Breakfast time at Villa Maison. Scrambled eggs, two coffees, bread and jam, smoothie and juice, and a little omelet. Yeah. 
Hey guys and welcome to our day two. We have come here to the beautiful resort called The Secret. So nice here. We just decided to come here because it's like a five minutes walk away from our hotel and our hotel doesn't have a pool. So we thought, oh, well, might as well spend our morning swimming. So we just came here, bought a couple of drinks, a coffee and a smoothie, our favorite combo. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we've just been enjoying lounging around, having a little dip in the pool with a beautiful view of the sea right in front of us. What do you think of it? It's really beautiful here. It's a huge pool. You're only a few meters away from the beach, although you can't actually access it from here. But it's really nice. Like Emma said, you just got to buy a couple of drinks or yeah. buy some food from the restaurant and you can stay here the whole day. I think next up we might go to explore another beach, we might go rent a motorbike and head to see a new beach on the island. What do yeah, you think? Sounds great and maybe even catch a sunset there. Hmm. So yeah. yeah, we'll see you at the beach. Yeah, let's go. other side right here it is the island's only airport and I'm standing right under the flight path for the planes in a few minutes I'm expecting a plane to land right above my head let's see if I can catch it it is drifting oh my god So we took a little drive around 20 minutes or 15 kilometers from the secret where we were chilling this morning to arrive at Baicho Beach. What about this beach? Do you like it? Yeah, this beach is so nice. It's really beautiful. It's fairly empty to be honest. And it's really cool because it's right next to the airport. So we've just seen some really cool planes like fly overhead, landing and descending and stuff. It's so cool. How was the drive? The drive was super cool. It was like so beautiful, really windy, small little roads. So a bit scary at times, but definitely worth it to see some amazing views. Like we checked out the coolest viewpoint, didn't we? Yeah, really cool, spectacular views. So drive a bike on the island and check out some viewpoints. Those are definitely some things to do. And to come and check out this one, that airport beach, pretty cool to see, right? Yeah, definitely amazing. So definitely check out this beach if you're in Condal. <laughs> That's right. It is well past lunchtime, so we just stopped for a little snack some chips and of course some more fried squid yummy just sitting at some deck chairs on the beach have a little snack some drone footage of this beautiful beach and it was okay it's got a little bit dark now and then about 10 minutes later i had a guy wearing army uniform he came up to me and he said oh this is restricted area because of the airport like you can't do fly cam can't do drone here so i said oh i'm very sorry to be honest that was getting off quite lucky i half expected you know to get a fine to get someone say something or a lot worse but uh yeah 
That was just a warning and lesson learned, I guess. So don't fly fly cam, don't fly drone near the airports. Good idea. Told you that I loved you one more time. Classic Vietnam, but hopefully the power will come back on soon. Hello, doctor's my old friend. I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. We just made it back to Villa Maison where we're staying after having a really nice pizza. We went to a place called Bar 200. How was your pizza? Yeah, it was really tasty actually. I was really impressed with it. Like so random. Come to like a really local Vietnamese island and get some yummy pizza, but it has a really nice thick crust, which is my favorite. It had some cheese, tomatoes, olives, and... <laughs> Should have thought about it. And some onion on. <laughs> Yeah. And they were pretty big. We even got some of our leftovers for our lunch tomorrow because yeah. couldn't finish it all, so that's exactly. good. Yeah, and it was really good value for money as well, wasn't it? Around like 200k, which is about, what, six pounds or something? Yeah, to be on this little island, get really good pizza for just 200k, so that's good. Yeah. If you feel a bit homesick or you want to get really good pizza, some Western food, we can recommend that place. So tonight's our last night on Kondao. Tomorrow in the afternoon, we fly back to Saigon. Might have a little bit of time to go to a beach or a pool in the morning and might check out the prison museum. That yeah. should be fun. Yeah, it definitely will be interesting. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, time to wind down and get ready for bed. So see you in the see morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Yummy cereal and bacon to start the day first. No bacon for you. <laughs> So it's the morning of day three here in Kondao. It's our final morning. Uh, we just spent the morning before checkout to do one little thing. We went to visit the uh, French tiger cages just in the city center. It's good to do a little bit of culture and history when you do a beach bum holiday, just seeing pools and beaches. So that was a good thing to do. Only 50,000 and you could go to five different uh, cultural and historic sites around the island. We didn't really know much about Condal or anything like that or the history so it was definitely an eye-opener to, to check that out so I'm glad we managed to squeeze it in. And I think we might just go take a drive, check out one more beach or viewpoint and in about an hour we're going to taxi back to the airport for the end of the holiday. <laughs> So we've just checked out of our accommodation here at Villa Maison. I thought it was really beautiful. It's a really nice place to stay on the island. Uh, nice and bougie, but not the most expensive accommodation. And I thought the food here was fantastic. What do you think of it? Yeah, I really enjoyed our stay here. Just like Lewis said, it was like really comfortable. It's close to everything, like walking distance to the beaches, to the secret hotel and to restaurants and stuff too, which was great. The breakfast was the best part for me. It's such good value, to be honest. So definitely would recommend staying here. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with all that. Lots of people come from all the different accommodations to eat breakfast or lunch or dinner here. Yeah. Uh, so that's really nice. Just like we go to the secret for the pool, people come to Villa Maison for the food. So if you're a foodie, this is a great place to stay too. Yeah, exactly. And there's loads of choice on the menu from like Asian food, Vietnamese food to Western food. So you won't have any trouble finding anything. And they have loads of veggie options too. <laughs> yeah, that's good for the veggie over here. Yeah. And uh, it's almost time to go. Yeah, so. 
So that was our three days in Kondal vlog. If you made it this far, then good job. I'm sure it's going to be a long video. Thanks for supporting the channel. And we really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful little island, not too developed yet. So that's great. Yeah, it's really lovely. So I'm sure you'll have a good time here. Regardless, don't forget to check out the seafood too. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. <laughs> Comment down below any suggestions you have or what you liked about the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content soon. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> My, my top fan there promoting the channel. Yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Yeah. Hope you get a chance to come to Condal soon. Hope you enjoy the video. So, yeah. see you next time. Thank see you. See you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Welcome to Condal. Welcome to Condal. Welcome to Condal. Welcome to Condal. We said normal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Condal. Don't forget to like and subscribe or click here to watch another video you might like.